Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So if you don't know what the Ouya was, it basically was this weird set-top console where it was supposed to be like an alternative to the base PX4 and Xbox One, and it came out in 2012 and did pretty poorly, but that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video. What I'm going to be talking about is the controller. Now, you're probably wondering why, if you haven't seen the title, of why I'm talking about the controller. Well, the Ouya controller had mixed reviews. A lot of people thought that, okay, it felt alright in the hands, but the only problem was that the triggers were terrible, and it just felt, in some areas, especially on the front-facing parts, like a prototype controller. So, a lot of people complained about the controller part of the Ouya, but in 2018, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller exists. So, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you don't have to use anything else. You can just use the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to have a pretty normal gaming experience. But... If you really are a diehard fan of the Ouya controller, which I don't know if, if those people exist, but if you do, then hey, congratulations, because there is a version of the Ouya controller made for the Nintendo Switch. I'm not even kidding. This is a real thing. You can actually go out and buy right now. So if you go on Amazon right now, two different companies are selling their own versions of these weird Ouya Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. One of them's from Vnic, and the other is from EEE Kit or Triple E Kit, and they're basically the exact same thing, and they both have the same prices. But they have this. I'll have one of the images of what they basically look like. This is the neon version, and they look interesting to say the least. I mean, I think the only reason why I'm forgiving the design of it is because I like the whole, um, you know, blue and red style of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, or the Joy-Con controller. I mean to say. So, okay, that's pretty interesting to see, but still, I'm not entirely convinced this is worth your 20 US bucks. Also, something I want to mention is that both Vnic and this EEE kit company, they're both selling other versions of this controller, but they look like an Xbox One controller, so I'm starting to notice the theme. Now, I found this out from a YouTube user called Ken Versus, and I'll have his channel linked in the description, and I'll have some of his video playing in the background. And again, I hope you really check out his video because he did a great job of explaining what this controller is. But in this video, I just wanted to discuss my thoughts on it. So the controller, let's just go over the main problems with it. The first thing is that it doesn't have an NFC reader, so you can't use Amiibos on it, which is an epic fail. It has like the D-pad on it, the front-facing buttons feel okay, the triggers feel okay, and that's something that I was a bit worried about. The original Ouya controller had terrible triggers so i had no idea what to expect so there's somewhere they're basically the controller feels half baked compared to the nintendo switch pro controller but it's slightly better than the ouya controller at least from what i can tell it does have the capture and home button and the start and select button unlike the original ouya controller and it does have the off axis controllers and it basically is just the nintendo switch pro controller but it has it's just you know designed to look like an ouya controller so should you go out right now and pick up these controllers? Okay, so they're 25 US bucks, but still, I don't think that you should. And the main reason for that is because there's other options out there. Like, if you look hard enough, you'll see that other companies, such as Hori, are selling Nintendo Switch third-party controllers. They might be a bit more, some of them are even a bit less. And they'll feel better, and they'll just act better in general. And they'll come with an NFC reader, so... It doesn't really make sense as to why you want to pick these up, but I mean, okay, if you like the whole Xbox and Ouya um, appeal, then I guess, but I just, I don't see why anyone would really want to pick this up. Unless you're a diehard Ouya fan and you really have dug yourself into the Ouya controller, then maybe you'll want to pick this up just so you don't have to adapt to a new controller. But for everyone else, I think that there's other options out there that you can try. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll have all the links in the description if you want to check out these controllers. And also have this Ken vs. channel in the description and his video in the description. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then you can subscribe to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, then you can like to show your support. And see you.